Welcome to the live show on the internet. Yeah. We got a raw and uncut show for you tonight. Yes, we do. We're going to jump right into it. Tonight, after shots rang out at a popular DeKalb County club. And now DeKalb County police officers are trying to figure out what led up to this shooting overnight at Pinup's Strip Club in Decatur. That's where we find our Atlanta News First reporter Bridget Spencer. She's live from the DeKalb County Police Department. Bridget, did police make an arrest yet in this case? Tori, Carly, they actually were able to track down two suspects that were actually being treated at the hospital. You can only imagine how scary the situation was inside of that club. I spoke to one faith leader about this. He is outraged by all the violence that he is seeing across Atlanta. It was early Sunday morning when shots rang out at Pinup Strip Club in Decatur. DeKalb County police say they found three people suffering from gunshots. They were taken to the hospital and five others were tracked down at other area hospitals. Two of the injured were taken into custody as suspects, police say. We don't have the luxury to loiter or to wait. We got to do this now. Reverend Daryl Winston is one of the faith leaders with the Save Our City Coalition. His group is working to stop the violence in Metro Atlanta and even enacted an initiative called the 10 Point Plan for Peace. We must do something about this violence soaked culture that in many cases is being celebrated. The shooting at pinups comes on the heels of another club shooting, 1145 in Buckhead, where two people were murdered. The Reverend says people, especially the youth, need nonviolent conflict resolution. He now fears what the summer months may hold if nothing is done. I am concerned that it's going to rise as the summer uh, continues, as the summer unfolds. We've seen children as young as 13 and 14 with weapons, and this trend, unfortunately, is headed in the wrong direction. Now, we did speak with the security guard at Pinups earlier today. They have reopened their doors for business. We were unable to get in contact with the owner and manager for comment. Meanwhile, I did reach out to DeKalb County Police to find out more information on who the injured people were as well as the suspects. Of course, we'll be sure to update you once we learn more about this story. For now, we're live in the... Hey, Atlanta, I got one question for you. How you go from black excellence to black Hollywood. I mean, everything fake. The only thing real is the crime and you niggas dying at alarming rate. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. Say it ain't so. Yeah, man. Y'all the finesse city. Y'all faking it till you make it. And a lot of you niggas like to get flipped over like a pancake. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. Say it ain't so. It's a lot of fuckery going on in Atlanta. I love Atlanta, but Atlanta has declined in the last 25 years. I'm so serious. Hey, minister, one thing about it, the crime ain't gonna never stop because guess what? You old heads don't like to interact with the youth. Now nah, you niggas act like you scared of the youth. How the hell you won't change, but you don't want to talk to the youth? The youth is the future. How you gonna ignore the future? That's the problem. That's why the crime rates are up. How you don't know this already? You know what I mean? You cannot come to these youth with the same old Martin Luther King flow. Nah, that shit ain't gonna work in today's time, man. Look at all the old heads you got on your council. You don't have no youth on your council. How you gonna interact with youth and you don't even have youth on your council? So if you looking to solve this issue, you should, you should go and interact with youth. You see what I'm saying? Then y'all come up with the method to the madness. Other than that, they already done came up with a method to the madness. They gonna do Atlanta like they did Harlem. They gonna move you niggas out. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah, they gonna buy up all the property and kick you niggas out, man. Because guess what? The white man gave y'all the chance to uh, run your own city. And guess what you niggas do? Instead of running your own city productively, you niggas run the murder rate off. Yeah, that's what you niggas doing. Yeah, that's what you niggas doing. You wanna uh, point the finger at the crime. No point the finger at yourselves, man, because guess what? You niggas want to be black Hollywood instead of black excellence. At one point in time, everybody that want to own a business or be successful in any type, form, or fashion, they moved to Atlanta. Atlanta was a hub for black excellence. When you went to Atlanta, you seen a whole bunch of successful black people running their businesses and, and, and being productive. A lot of families and everything. Now when you go to Atlanta, everybody trying to finesse you. Everybody trying to beat you up out their money. People trying to rob you. You see what I'm saying? Men trying to come on to other men. Women trying to come on to other women. Everything is just flip-flop. Don't get it twisted. To each his own. All I'm saying is Atlanta had changed drastically. Drastically. I mean, Atlanta was a place that you could feel like 
it, it's home warming. But it, you, it doesn't feel like that no more. As soon as you get off the highway, get into the city, you see 100,000 uh, homeless people. You see 100,000 homeless people. I'm talking about from, from, the, uh, from elder to, uh, to teenage, 13, 14 year olds homeless. And all you niggas doing is faking it till you make it. And then the ones making it, they ain't trying to put together no type of uh, um, jobs. Or, uh, you know what I mean? Y'all not trying to really do nothing with the youth, man. Y'all not trying to uh, teach them trades or none of that type of stuff. Y'all want to open up clubs and restaurants. How many restaurants you going to continue to open? You could be opening up a place where they teach trades, man, to get these jits off the streets and into society so they can be productive. You see what I'm saying? But y'all don't want to do that. No, man, y'all want to y'all want to be in competition with each other. Y'all want to see who got the best restaurant, who got the best club, who do this, who do that. Man, that shit ain't helping nobody. That's why y'all have so much things happen at them places. You go to eat, people fighting, people getting shot up. When you want to go to unwind and relax and look at some nice looking women and go to the script club, people getting shot up and killed in the script club. Yeah, I understand a script club is a place for you to go unwind as men, as a couple, however you move. You see what I'm saying? But yeah, it's another flip side to the to the script club. Script t- club is a place where a lot of politics go down. A lot of meetups go down. A lot of business get handled inside the script club. It may not look like that to you, but a lot of big business go down in the script club. And sometimes with business, business is, always, is not always straightforward. A lot of times, business is only uh, only beneficial to the person who came up with the, with the idea. So by the time the other person realized they've been getting beat, things don't turn out good. Shit go down at the script club. But that ain't the issue. Everybody got to be accountable for everybody. If you know it's a, it, it, all, the, all the crime is coming from the youth, we need to tighten up, man. We got to go out there and interact with these people. Man, you got to go in there and interact with your children. It starts at the home. Regardless if you're in a home or not, you're supposed to be having contact with your children, man. Your child got a cell phone. They, they supposed to be in contact with you straight up. I won't give a damn if the baby mama, uh, y'all got relations, uh, relations, sex relations or not. A lot of you niggas don't want to take care of the children because you ain't, the, the, the baby mama ain't fucking you. So you try to, you say fuck the baby mama and the child. That's pussy nigga shit. A real nigga gonna take care of his responsibilities. That's why you niggas, uh, kids is getting shot, man. Because you ain't teaching them nothing. If you dealt financially for them, you still not teaching them nothing. If you not dealt financially for them, you still ain't teaching them nothing. They need to be taught, man, what's real. They mama's trying to live their best life. They mama's getting BBLs and stuff, man, trying to live her childhood back over, her, her younger years back over again. She ain't trying to be a parent, man. She letting him do whatever they want to do. Just don't get in trouble. No guidance whatsoever, man. That's what's wrong with Atlanta. Y'all chose to be black Hollywood instead of black excellence. Now, once y'all flip the script, everything will go back to normal. But until y'all do that, man, y'all gonna continue to see a rise in crime. Y'all gonna continue to see y'all fall out from alarming rates of, of being killed by one another. So I'm telling you what, what, what they doing. I don't even live in Atlanta. I know what's going on. Them people buying up property, man. Last time I was there, they was coming in, man. They, 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 I'm telling you, they gonna take over like how they did Harlem. Cause you niggas trying to fake it till you make it. Instead of being black excellence, man, get back on your shit. Now, once they take Atlanta from you, you won't get nothing else. That's it. You can't say they don't burnt down y'all buildings. You can't say the people did nothing. Now, y'all self destructed y'all selves, man. Y'all had an opportunity of a lifetime, but you failed. You fail because y'all want to be in competition with each other. The men don't want to be men raising their family at home. The women don't want to be mothers. They want to be thoughts all over. And this ain't this ain't towards everybody. Shout out to the parents, man, who put in hard work. Shout out to the parents who kids graduate 
and be productive citizens. Congratulations. But unfortunately, it's oversaturated with bullshit. And that's what we're addressing today. This gotta stop. It gotta stop, man. We can't be we can't be out here calling ourselves OGs, man, and we letting stuff like this take place. We can't point the finger, man. We got to stop the shit as a whole, man. If you see one of these jits out there doing something they ain't got no business doing, man, stop them, man, and respectfully give them game, put them in his place, or put them in position. Yeah, I ain't trying to tell you how to spend your money, but shit, shit, stop. Hey, don't 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 go buy none of that designer shit for a little while, man. Help somebody do something, man. Cause you don't help them, man. They're gonna be at your front door. They're gonna be at your front door. The only thing you're gonna see is a flash and a loud boom. With that being said, if you smell some stink, that's me. Urban Gossip TV. Cause we the shit. <laughs>